Hi artists! The purpose of this video is to model for you how to use Sketchpad to create your Mr. Brainwash inspired art piece. So I'm going to first start with the clip art and I'm going to load my own image and I saved a brick wall. I got that from Google Images. You know that you can just take an image off of Google, you could drag it onto your desktop or you could save it to your photos. So I'm just going to stretch that to fill my whole canvas. That is my background. Now I want to start adding some imagery on top that is inspired by Mr. Brainwash. So again, I'm going to go to that clip art because we know a key feature of his work is clip art. And I typed in rabbit and I saw this rabbit that was in black and white and I'm just going to drop him on there. I can make him as big as I want. I could also copy and paste a second one on top to kind of make him look a little three-dimensional or a little darker. I could line it up to be exact. And that's your choice. Then I'm going to go to clip art again and I'm going to type in rabbit again. And I saw this rabbit, um, which was inspired from Alice in Wonderland. This is the same rabbit, only um, it's in black and white, and this one is a colored clip art. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, let me go back. I'm going to drag and drop him on there. And I'm going to shrink him down. And I'm going to change the opacity, which means how much light is coming through. So I'm going to make sure that I select. And I'm going to go to the three lines that say style. I'm going to turn the opacity down. So see how he kind of fades away. If I turn it all the way up, it's very bright. I want to just dull it down a little bit. And then I'm also going to copy and paste that same idea because I want it to look like it's repeating on the bottom. And you know what? I think I just want to use four. Next, I'm going to go to the star. Actually, I'm going to go to the pencil. And I'm going to scroll down to the stamp. And I'm going to open up the stamp. I'll go under where it says normal. I'm going to click on the carrot drop down and I'm going to select the heart. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to yellow. And now when I stamp, it's stamping a heart. Now it's very small. I can do it multiple times and it kind of like overlaps. And if you don't like that, you can hit undo. I can go back to the stamp and I can up the line width. So see how now it's a little bigger. And you see how it's kind of turning different directions. I'm then going to go back to stamp and I'm going to change it to spray paint because we saw that he used a lot of spray paint in his work. And I'm just going to kind of splatter it about. And that's it. That's my Mr. Brainwash inspired work. I have that idea of spray paint. I have black and white imagery. I have clip art. I hope this video was helpful.